seven days to die video today is day number 29 it's late in the day i am currently about to take a ride out to uh well the day as the day after uh the the 28th day horde so right now we're gonna go loot somewhere um i don't know i'm thinking gravestown or maybe I'll just take a ride down this road here and see where it takes us because we didn't explore any of this area here so I'll probably end up just doing that just taking a ride down there wow I didn't realize how much of this map we actually did explore oh you know what I thought we explored the desert but yeah we'll probably take like a two or three day trip so I'm gonna go down here and there's another treasure chest. Maybe we might stop and get that treasure chest on the way, perhaps. So, alright guys, well, like I said, I'm going to make my way over there, and I'll be back, so. Because <clears throat> I'm back. Um, I wanted to go over something quick. I know I don't have too many viewers on my 7 Days to Die videos, but I was wondering, I was thinking about getting a server, my own server, and possibly, um, maybe even a DayZ eventually but I don't know if anybody would be it would be a private server you know what I mean and uh, I give the password out to you know viewers you know and what I wanted I was thinking about instead of having PvP all over the place have it um, in the major cities like Gravetown, Deersville and I think Parishtown that new place um, so I don't know if anybody would be interested in that if so just leave a comment um, like I said, I know I don't have too many viewers on this series here. It'll do, but, um, you know what I mean? Maybe I'd be interested. Uh, you know what I mean? Maybe I'll, I probably won't get too many responses, but if I do get a couple, um, of thinking about letting people in, you know what I mean? And building, everybody could build their own base, and then, um, from at that point, we can, uh, you know what I mean? Let other, the public in, so... That's what I was thinking. That way people could have well-established base, maybe one inside, uh, you know what I mean, like PvP zones, and then, you know, one outside of PvP zones. So like I said, that'd be pretty cool having a major uh, cities. And it'd be even cooler, though, if like a bunch of people did it. And, you know, the way I figure it, that'd be cool because, you know, you can go, uh, when you have to go loot, you go to the PvP zone, so... Um, I don't know, I think it'd be pretty cool, so, like I said, leave a comment, and let me know, you guys, alright? Shit, what the hell did I just do? Alright. But anyway, so, I was traveling across this fucking map, and then, next thing you know, I started myself on fire, and I instantly died. I have, like, horrible luck with this, this map, I don't know, or this game, I don't know why. I don't have anything like this happened to me in my other saves, never, I, you know what I mean, I don't know why in the hell, for some reason in this save, in Nav's game, this shit always happens, I die constantly, I mean, my other game, my health is way above 100, and in this one, it's, it's always in the 70s, always, no matter what, I just have no fucking luck whatsoever, so, I don't want that bullshit, and it, it just pisses me off, so, uh, whatever, what are you gonna do? Holy shit. There must have been a fucking mine out there, I guess. I didn't know there was mines out. Oh no, he probably hit a barrel. Yes, yeah, that's probably what he did. Let's see. Alright, sweet. So, that might be a little bit brighter. I don't know. And I forgot we do need more paper. We're totally out of paper. And we have but we have 210 shells, which really isn't much, all things considered. So but yeah, this is my favorite game. And I would love for some people to join me. And um, you know, maybe we can get some some cool you know, some cool PvP action going on and like a good little community. And I was actually thinking about too, I well, not thinking about it, I want to set up some trading stations. And that's why I wouldn't let the public in right away. And, you know, there's so many servers on there, so who knows if uh, a lot of people even play. But I would love to have some some stations set up, some uh, trading stations. And, 
that way. You know what I mean? Like some of the top players, like especially if we let it build up for a while and we we play it a lot. Um, you know, get a bunch of items and we could have uh, trading stations and stuff like that. And I was even gonna have a store myself because I think as a uh, admin, which I could spawn some stuff in. So you know, I mean, I could make a little store, put some stuff in there, and then people could trade like. Um, well, I mean, I guess even after a while playing it, I could have all that shit myself anyway. But, you know what I mean? People could trade, like, a bunch of material for, you know, certain things. So, I think that'd be pretty sweet. Like, you know, even like a mini bike, you could trade, like, you know, a couple hundred forged iron or something like that. You know, because obviously it'd have to be a lot, because that's, like, a, a way further in the game type deal. So... I don't know why. Okay, 900. I was gonna say I didn't seem like I was getting a lot of um, a lot of stuff. But, all right, there we go. And I was building up my levels for um, my club. You know, my my melee weapons. And for some reason, oh yeah, not for some reason, but I ran out of wood. So, and I'm in a desert, which really sucks ass. So now I gotta find some wood somewhere. But. Alright guys, I'll be right back. I'm going to go look for the nearest town, and um, like I said, I'll be right back. And we are back. And right now we just found a little junkyard. Um, I'm going to mark this spot here on the map. I have a storage cache, I guess you would call it, in here. So we just have that marked. I'm 102 degrees, it's getting a little hot in here, uh, I took off all my clothes already, so, um, but let's go in here and go loot in quick. Uh, I don't know if there's mines in here, with my luck, I'm sure there's mines, and unfortunately another thing is, we literally don't even have the room to get any more gas, we're so fucking loaded on gas, and I know I probably should get it and just put it in the bin there, but if I'm going to come back and get that bin... I can just walk in here and get the freaking gas, so I'm not really gonna worry about it like that. Um, usually there's safes in here in these uh, in these dumpsters, so I don't know why there isn't a safe in there right now. Hold on a minute, I didn't check this one over here. Okay, we got a duffel bag. Look at that shit. I, I spent the last however many like hour or so loading up or um, making these stupid asshole wooden clubs, and there's one right in there for the 400 level 400 I could have just fucking repair that oh shit really yeah anyway I could just repair that and then have myself a level 400 so and I believe I'm at the point where I wouldn't need to yeah where it would pretty much keep it the same level so where you going punk I'm trying to get my pummel peat up too and I want to just get up my my melee damage up like extremely high so I have it up pretty high already there we go never go wrong with that but I would love to get up to the point where I can fight feral zombies like fairly quick and just get them like killed within like 10 shots or so because right now it takes probably like 20 shots I would say and I'm fucking bleeding again. You gotta be kidding me. Another thing, guys, these painkillers. I never used painkillers before. I always thought they were worthless, but I've been using them a lot lately. It's better than using like a aided, um, you know, wrap, be yeah, a bandage or something like that. It's a lot better than using one of those, um, and it brings your health up. So you can use a shitty bandage, and you know, start eating painkillers like like crazy and it will bring your your health up like real high so definitely worth checking out let's see I hope there's something good here because I traveled for a long long ass time to get here um, well not to get here I just traveled a long ass time to go looting so I just want it to be worth my while you know what I mean I want to come back to those supply caches and I want it to be worth it you know what I mean because if it's not worth it I'm not going to drive back for the shit so you know, we gotta make it worth it. Alright. 
glass jars. We got so many glass jars, it's ridiculous. So, and I'm assuming you can make glass jars in the forge. I would think when you when you melt glass and put it in there. Yes. And I'm actually gonna have to go on a on a water run pretty soon. I have a bunch of water, but I just haven't done one in a while. So I wouldn't mind just you know going on one. We got seven days to die coming out of the console really soon. I uh, can't wait. I really can't wait. I think that's gonna be awesome. Um, and the reason I can't wait is, like I said uh, multiple times, people are probably getting hard or tired of hearing it. Um, I really think they're gonna start uh, updating it like crazy once it comes out of the console, because they they they're gonna have to sell like another you know half a million copies or so like fairly quick, I would think. Yeah, I mean they already sold five or 1.5 million, so I'm thinking they're gonna sell a shitload right off the bat. I really do, you know. And if not right off the bat, pretty fucking soon afterwards. Um, it's a great game, you know what I mean? It really is. It's like a, I guess what you call a cult classic, you know. And people love it or they hate it, but um, when people love it, they they put a lot of time into this game. So um, I don't know. I think I think it's a good game, you know. And at first, when it first came out, it was so fucking hard to play. It really was. Especially, like, you know, I never really played any survival games ever in my life before this game. So it was it was really hard, actually. Are you fucking serious? I got a broken leg? Oh, my gosh, yo. That is fucking... And I'm, I'm infected. That's ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. But... Oh my god, we need cloth fragments too. You know what? I could probably get some right here. Um, but it's it's a great game though. You know what I mean? Like it, it just has everything you could ever want in a survival game. I mean, you could craft every single thing in the game. Um, it's sweet. So, and tell me guys what you think about um, you know maybe a Daisy server eventually too, and if anybody would play. I wouldn't mind getting like a little crew together, you know what I mean? Like, my brother and I were actually thinking about starting a DayZ series, and um, like a noob series, you know, because we kind of suck at it. Uh, I'm good at getting loot, a bunch of loot, and then I'm really good at dying right afterwards. So, um, a lot of that has to do though with, um, like if I'm not recording, I do fairly good, you know what I mean? I got some kills going on, but um, you know, for some reason, I have a I have a good computer, but when I'm recording, it, it brings my FPS so low, uh, it's like unplayable. So, um, but yeah, once 6.0 comes out, you know what I mean, it'll be a lot easier. But I wouldn't mind trying to get a crew together and you know go roaming the map, trying to trying to you know make some good videos. So, you know, just leave some comments below. I'm trying to expand a little bit. I want to do some new things and uh, make some multiplayer videos. You know, I really do. So, like I said, anybody interested, you know, um, not necessarily I'm gonna make videos right, away, but anybody interested in uh, going on a private map, you know what I mean? That's a little more chill, and um, you know, you got more freedom and not people trying to kill you constantly. You know, designated PVP areas. You know, definitely let me know. So. I, you know, I would do the same thing in, um, what the hell is it called? If I had a DayZ map, you know, uh, it's a lot bigger though, so I'd have to have, like, you know, designated, like I said, designated areas for PvP, and, um, I have to really think about that, um, you know, which areas to make, so, because, you know, I, mean, I need help actually figuring out which areas to make uh, PvP and not PvP because I don't really know enough about that map to to go ahead and do that. Now I just saw a fucking zombie. Alright. There we go. Yeah, you know what we're gonna do, buddy? There we go. Fuck you. Eat a bag of shit. Oh my gosh, I left that that uh, thing there, the brass. But all right, well, so far our oh my gosh, I didn't, okay, I didn't use the splint yet. Scare me there! I thought I put the splint on, and broke my leg again. 
but so far our oops, our little uh, thing uh, looting adventure here is um, kind of shitty. You know what I mean? I mean, it's actually no. You know, it's not bad finding all this gas here. So I have the the area saved. So when I come back here, I will get a couple thousand. You know, like probably almost seven eight thousand gas. So I think it's actually not too bad, you know what I mean? Um, I was gonna, I would like it if I find some, some weapons. Oh no, I kind of want to get that um, submachine gun. I never really use it in this game because I always heard it, heard it was uh, it used up all your, your bullets and stuff like that. So I never really mess with it. Um, I, I kind of want to check it out though, and I gotta get up here and check the duffel bags out and stuff. So, but oh come on. Alright, I'll have to make something to get up there. But thank you guys so much for watching. Um, definitely stay tuned. And like I said before, anybody interested in, you know, having a day Z or, um, and or seven days to die, seven days to die first though, um, private server to go to and, and all that, let me know. Um, I, I want to wait for Alpha 15 to come out, but I would be willing to do it within the next, like, 15, 14 days, like, two weeks or so. So, like I said, let me know and comment below. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for some more 7 Days to Die. And tomorrow, there should be a Fallout 4 Mods video. Thank you.